Click subscribe to get latest news and don't forget to press the bell icon. After nearly eight months of showboating and grandstanding, it seems that North Korea may finally be following through with their threats. According to Japanese media, Kim Jong-un is now prepared to launch an intercontinental ballistic missile which could reach the very heartland of the United States. North Korea has been testing missiles recklessly ever since Donald Trump was elected president, and it seems that they may finally have found the technology that they're looking for, an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of striking the United States. According to sources, the movement of a launch pad was first noticed yesterday morning, and based off of its size, it is large enough to carry an ICBM class Hwasong 14 ballistic missile, which has a range of over 6,200 miles. The United Kingdom is roughly 5,400 miles away from North Korea, while the United States is only 3,500 miles away, meaning that we're entirely within range of this dangerous new threat. According to various Asian outlets, the missile is already fueled up and could be launched at any moment. Drudge now report, Japan, which has been threatened with a nuclear attack by the rogue state, also says the missile launch pad started moving yesterday. Nikkei reports that the missile is already loaded with fuel and could be launched imminently. News outlet Asahi also reports that the rocket is being moved into position. Other Japanese media also report the missile is a Hwasong-14 which Jong-un previously said could reach anywhere in the world. The Hwasong-14 is known to have been tested by North Korea on July 4, 2017, a test which was said to have been far more successful than expected. Jong-un is said to have laughed as the weapon was fired declaring it a special gift for American B.S. He also bizarrely described it as a handsome good-looking boy. While North Korean state media said the missile flew only 580 miles, 933 kilometers, and reached an altitude of 1,741 miles, 2,802 kilometers, dash it took just 39 minutes before it was deliberately crashed into Japanese waters and is widely believed to be capable of reaching much further. At the very least, a missile of this nature is capable of reaching Alaska, where Secretary of State Rex Tusson described it as a new escalation of threat. This news comes just hours after and threatened to sink Japan and reduce the US to ashes and darkness. Pyongyang's so-called Korea-Asia Pacific Peace Committee, largely used for propaganda, also called for the breakup of the Security Council which it called a tool of evil made up of money-bribed countries that move at the order of the United States. In a statement carried by the North's official KCNA news agency, the committee said, the four islands of the archipelago should be sunken into the sea by the nuclear bomb of Josh. Josh is the North's ruling ideology that mixes Marxism and an extreme form of go-it-alone nationalism preached by state founder Kim Il-sung, the grandfather of the current leader, Kim Jong-un. Regional tensions have risen markedly since the reclusive North conducted its sixth, and by far its most powerful, nuclear test on September 3. In response, the Security Council voted unanimously to up sanctions on North Korea, banning their textile exports which are second largest only to coal-related supplies. North Korea has threatened us in response, and had the following to say, let's reduce the US mainland into ashes and darkness. Let's vent our spite with mobilization of all retaliation means which have been prepared till now, the statement said. Japan's Nikkei stock index and dollar, yen currency paired gains, although traders said that was more because of several Chinese economic indicators that were released today rather than a reaction to the North's latest statement. South Korea's one also edged down around the same time over domestic financial concerns. The North's latest threats also singled out Japan for dancing to the tune of the United States, saying it should never be pardoned for not offering a sincere apology for its never-to-be-condoned crimes against our people, an apparent reference to Japan's wartime aggression. It also referred to South Korea as traitors and dogs of the United States. This announcement is extremely provocative and egregious, said Japanese Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshihide Suga. It is something that markedly heightens regional tension and is absolutely unacceptable, he added. The United Nations has imposed massive sanctions onto the rogue state, making it illegal for foreign firms to form commercial joint ventures with North Korean entities, but that hasn't stopped North Korea from continuing on with their nuclear weapons program. U.S. President Donald Trump has vowed that North Korea will never be allowed to threaten the United States with a nuclear-tipped missile, but has also asked China to do more to rein in its isolated neighbor. China in turn favors an international response to the problem. The North accuses the United States, which has 28,500 troops in South Korea, of planning to invade and regularly threatens to destroy it and its Asian allies.
The United States and South Korea are technically still at war with North Korea because the 1950-53 Korean conflict ended with a truce and not a peace treaty. If Kim Jong-un does decide to launch a nuclear missile at the United States, this could be the biggest catastrophe that we've seen since 1945. President Trump's military absolutely dwarfs Kim Jong-un's, and if he does decide to poke the bear, his promise of raining down fire and fury, onto North Korea may just come true.